Hey everyone, um, just wanted to shoot a quick video on a tool that I made. Uh, I just entered the Bengal Bowl contest, and uh, they had two categories, turned and non-turned, and mine was non-turned. Um, I don't have a lathe to turn one on. <coughs> and I cut my, my bangle out on a blade runner and after I cut it out I noticed how rough the inside was and it dawned on me at that point that I have nothing to sand the center of this thing out with except sandpaper and my hand so I was trying to come up with an, with an idea to do that because I didn't want to be sanding it for days. So I had this laying around the shop. This was an attempt at making a lathe. And it's just made out of a motor from a concrete mixer that I got from Harbor Freight. I no longer do the work requiring a concrete mixer. Um, I used to install basketball goals. So I just had that sitting around you know decided you know I'm gonna make a lathe uh, it didn't work out too well first thing I turned was this and just to mess around with it and uh, basically what it is it's just a piece of MDF and uh, what I do with it now is when I make something and I need to stain it, paint it, whatever. I use this to set it on as I drop everything right here. Basically use this to set stuff on so that way it keeps it up off the table or whatever. Um, next thing I made was this and this is just a piece of plywood that I put on the shaft turned it till it was round and tried to Put it on there as straight as possible. Um, part of the shaft is flat, so I used a piece of uh, oak, I believe it was, and made a, a shim to go inside to help stabilize it to kind of lock it in place, so to speak. Um, and for for a chuck for the jaws, I took a basketball goal uh, backboard and if you see some of my earlier videos you'll notice my table saw the top of it is clear that's yeah, a basketball goal uh, backboard um, anyway I had another one laying around because sometimes I would have to remove them for the customers when we put the new ones in anyway I cut two circles out of it and this one I mounted to the piece of plywood, turned it nice and round, cut another one out, did the same thing, only I cut it into four pieces to make this, you know, an attempt at making some kind of jaws. And it actually worked out. Um, could only do small things and, you know, certain woods just, it wouldn't work. Um, Yeah, it was pretty much a failure to an extent. Because when I was looking around, I saw this and I had a thought that maybe I could make it work for me. Uh, so what I did is I took a piece of dropping everything, took a piece of PVC and put it inside here, locked the jaws down on it. Um, actually, I turned the inside of this one a little bit. So a piece of PVC so the PVC would actually fit inside it. Um, but it would spin. It would slip inside there because it's so smooth. So what I had to do was take a piece of duct tape around the, the end of this so that way the, the jaws would have a little something to grab onto. And it worked out. Um, I completed the bangle, submitted it, and uh, 
next day when I came out to the shop, I was looking at it, looking at this, and thinking, you know, I can improve it, make it better, and uh, this is what I came up with. Uh, originally, it was just a flat piece of particle board, which was off of a uh, entertainment center. So I cut that into the pieces to make this box. Um, just a basic box, you know. Um, mounted the switch to the front, which if you see my bangle video, the switch is just laying around wherever. Um, turn this to uh, create a new mount. Cut a piece of wood down and uh, put a 45 on one side. And I cut three pieces at 12 inches. Um, two of them I left, you know, with a single 45 on it. And then the other one I cut into small blocks like this and put a 45 on the other side. So that way it would run in the track. Uh, this piece is a 5 16 bolt with a lock nut holding on a small piece of plywood so I would have a knob and on the bottom is a T-nut so that way when I want to lock this piece in place I just turn this and it, it locks it in place uh, for this I took another piece of the uh, wood I cut put a piece of plywood on top uh, put a bolt through so I could put my knob on bracket and this is actually a 19 millimeter impact socket that fits really well inside the the PVC there's very little uh, wiggle room in there now hindsight being 2020 I should have cut um, some real shallow rabbits on the outsides of this because it makes it really tight uh, putting it on which kind of works uh, works out in, in my favor because it really won't slide out on its own this piece is just a piece of cedar that I cut down and turned to fit inside the pipe on this side is a T-nut with four screws to hold it in place I had to cut the little spikes off of it because it split the wood um, but it fits in there nice and tight I got a little spacer on there to keep it off of this and then when it's all together slide that in Tighten it up. There's a little bit of vibration because this wobbles a little bit. But it works. Um, I gotta put a little bit of grease on the socket so that way the PVC doesn't heat up on it. The uh, first one I did kinda kinda got hot and then it when I turned it off it stuck to the socket. <laughs> 